Dreallday.com. What's up, folks? Dre Ball and Dreallday.com. You already know who I am. Vivo number 19. We're not gonna waste no time. Let's get right into it with the top 10. Boom. I don't quit. I just regroup and fuck people up. Number one, USA. Number two, Canada. Number three, the UK. Number four, Croatia. Number five, Philippines. Number six, Germany. Number seven, Bulgaria. Number eight, Japan. Number nine, Norway. And number ten, Taiwan. And for anybody that don't know, the top ten are the ten countries that viewed my vids the most over the past seven days. So that was in from the number one, which was the USA, down to the number ten country, which was Taiwan. That's what the top ten is. Now let's get straight into the questions here. Chris from Switzerland says, how do you choose a good trainer? You choose a person that you think can push you to the level that you want to be. Sometimes you won't really know. You got to try them out. If you like them, you keep them. If you don't like them, then you find somebody else. Simple as that. He said, would I be jumping as high as I am today if I never did air alert? I don't know, because I did do air alert, so I have no idea. <laughs> Now somebody asked me, can I make a vid showing some of my exercise routines? Uh, what the hell do you think I'm doing here? I got 250 vids up on YouTube. Have you watched any of them? That's what. That's basically what I'm doing here. But I got more stuff on the way. Stuff that I haven't done yet is coming on the way. So that might be what you're thinking about. I doubt it. I doubt you've seen most of my vids. The person that asked that question. But I got more on the way anyway for everybody. So it don't even matter. And somebody asked... When you're working on a move, should you practice it for a certain amount of time or just keep doing it till you get it done? That's up to you how you practice. What you do when you get on the court and actually do your practice, I'm not going to tell you what to do or give you no suggestions. You got to figure it out for your damn self, trial and error, and work on your game. Just work on your game. Whatever way you want to do it, do it, but you just got to work on your game. If you want to be good, you got to work on your game. Now, if you want to be something else, then you do something else. Just work on your game. Simple as that. Someone asked, have I ever watched Gannon Baker's DVDs? Do I recommend buying them? I've seen Gannon Baker. I've seen a few of his clips on YouTube. He seems like a pretty good trainer. He's a really good, he has really good technique. He's really good in explaining stuff. But I recommend buying them. I don't know. You got to make your own decisions on if you want to buy a DVD. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. That's your choice. Someone asked now. He said, I broke my ankle playing ball. He wants to know, are there any exercises I can do to maintain my stamina without putting too much pressure on my ankle and he still do does weight training and works on his handles man i don't know you got to talk to the doctor man you got a broke ankle and you coming to me asking what you can do you need to talk to your doctor because if you re-aggravate it and fuck your ankle up some more then you might not be able to play basketball no more or any sport for that matter so i think you need to talk to a trained professional who specializes in that stuff which is not me it's your doctor whoever told you your ankle was broke that's the person you need to talk to People, somebody left a comment says, thanks for all your tips and training stuff. He got MVP for his team, so congratulations to you for getting MVP for your team. Person who left that comment. In case y'all wonder, anybody who didn't leave their name and where they from, I'm not saying their YouTube name on here. If you want me to say your name, you gotta say your name and where you from. So if you didn't do that, I'm gonna just read your comment and respond to it. Someone asked me, they said they love my vids, thank you. And they said, should my back be straight all the time while dribbling or just feel comfortable and play the game? That's something else, that just goes by feel. Some people like to bend over all the way, some people like to stay up straight and bend their knees. It's up to you, whatever works for you, that's what you gotta work with. Do whatever works for you. There's no perfect way to do it. Just do the, the way that works for you. Someone asked, have I ever played against famous ballers like, and he named a bunch of people off the N1 mixtape. I played against a couple people from the N1 mixtape, but you gotta watch my vid where I, it's called Best Players I Played Against and Face. Dudes that play in the NBA, not people off the N N1 mixtape. That's not who I'm talking about on the vid. But if you watch that vid, you'll see me talking to them. You'll see me talking about them. Excuse me. Someone else asked, when did I make the decision that I was going to play basketball and concentrate on making it to the NBA? Probably like at the end of high school, I decided that I wanted to play basketball for a living. And that's what I've been doing and working on getting to the league ever since. So that's been 10 years running. Someone asked, do you think it's rude to ask a coach for more game time? You don't have to ask the coach for more game time. You just have to ask the coach why you're not getting more game time. Then they'll tell you what you need to work on. So if you just go to the coach and say, can I play more? He's probably going to say no. Because if he wanted you to play more, he would be putting you in the game now. So what you need to ask him is why are you not playing more? And what do you need to do to play more? That's the better question. Don't ask him for more game time. He's not going to give it to you. you just ask him why. And then, some, then the same person asks, when you're playing a defender, he pressures you. Should you look over your shoulder or should you try to face him up? 
so he doesn't try to overplay you again. You should be able to do both. You should have both of those in your arsenal, and depending on what's going on in the game, naturally you'll decide which one works best for you. There is no science to that. You just have to have both of them in your arsenal, so you have the option of doing either one. And then depending on the game situation, your muscle memory will tell you which one to go to. It's not something you're going to have a chance to think about in a game. So don't ask those kind of questions now because you're not going to have a chance to think about when it happens on the court. You're just going to react naturally to whatever your body's used to doing. So if you have both of them available, then your body will do either one. If you can only do one, then you're only going to be able to do one. And that's a weakness if you're only going to be able to do one because a good defender, or a smart one who's paying attention to the way you play, he's going to break your game down and notice that you can't do it another way. You can only do it one way. And they're gonna use that against you. Last question. He said he was talking about when he doesn't have a ball, somebody's trying to stop him from moving. Is that legal? I don't know, man. Ask the referee when you play in the game. If there's no referee, then and the person's playing you physical, then you need to play him physical back. That's just all about toughness. Simple as that. So boom, everybody, thanks for the questions. That's vlog number 19. I gotta make a little announcement, man. This is the last vlog for a little bit. I'm not gonna put out any more vlogs every week. For a little while, I might bring the vlogs back. I might not. We'll see what happens in the future. When I started them out, it was good. I love the energy of the vlogs and all the questions. But honestly, this shit getting kind of whack. I'm getting asked the same questions over and over again, and I just I just don't feel passionate about the vlog no more. So the vlog is done for the time being until you hear me say it's coming back. But I'm still gonna be putting out vids all the time. So I'm still gonna be com coming with vids from Dre Ball and DreAllDay.com and all that, all this. You know, y'all already know what I'm gonna do. Just no more vlogs. That's it. So everybody, thanks for coming through. Go work on your fucking game. It's summertime. Live this summer or die this summer. There's going to be some funerals this summer. You going to be in the casket? Or are you going to be in the funeral procession watching? Or are you going to be the preacher? I'm going to be the preacher. I'm going to get a eulogy. So you either going to be in the casket or you going to be in the crowd. Live this summer or die this summer, baby. DreAllDay.com.